Welcome back to The Perspective on Barita Satu. I'm Blaise Hope with Paul Grigson, the Australian ambassador to Indonesia. Paul, um, has the relationship between Australia and Indonesia, we were speaking before the break about um, it, th that it's been two months since the execution of Andrew mm. Chan and Mjoran Sukumaran, um, has the relationship improved to the point where a visit from the Prime Minister, Tony Abbott, or, or uh, uh, Foreign Minister would be beneficial? Look, I think with the relationship as it is at present, there's much that ministers and leaders can talk about. There are opportunities for them to meet in uh, other countries. I think we should work our way uh, um, uh, carefully and, and sensibly through those meetings and then see where we are after a little time. Certainly there's good contact between uh, uh, the leaders. Uh, my Prime Minister wrote to uh, the President after the terrible plane crash um, and there's been other contacts. So I think uh, in, in terms of communication that's in good shape and we'll look for opportunities over the coming year too uh, for them to get together. Uh, has it just been too sensitive up to this point and do you think that's going to last if so? I don't think it's an issue of sensitivity. I mean, I th the President had a very good visit to Brisbane in the context of the G20. Both of them are very busy people, the President, of course, in his uh, first year or so. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I personally am very satisfied with the communication between uh, leaders, ministers and uh, officials. So I don't think it's an issue of sensitivity. I think it's an issue of timing. Uh, do you think that you've seen the, uh, the, the Indonesian public's uh, perception of Australia in, in your visits around uh, change uh, noticeably over the past two months? Look, I, I, I enjoy very much uh, living in Indonesia and I enjoy my job and one of the reasons is uh, the warmth of the reception I get. So I go to mosque, a, a different mosque mm. uh, each Friday and on those mosque visits I'm always taken by the warmth of the reception from people there and secondly the questions they ask. They rarely ask about politics. They mostly ask about the Muslim community in Australia. It's a, an interest in other communities rather than politics or, or other issues. That for me is a good sign. I think uh, uh, as there is in Australia, there's a, uh, an acceptance, acceptance and a willingness to talk about uh, Australia. And certainly in uh, Indonesia, I think my counterpart, Pak Najib, who does a terrific job, finds the same. Uh, you, you've made quite a, a point. You've been to a lot of mosques it's every Friday. Mm -hmm. um, do you intend to continue this in, in other cities? Yes, yeah, so uh, I went to Bogor last week mm -hmm. uh, uh, for a couple of days, visited a mosque there. Terrific visit, very impressed by the quality of the, uh, the kindergarten that they run at that mosque. Uh, I'll keep doing that uh, over time. Uh, I have to say it's one of the things I enjoy about Indonesia. I much prefer to be in a mosque talking to Indonesians than sitting in my office. Why do you choose to, to go there? Is it uh, a religious thing or is it a com community? It's a community issue. Uh, very interested in, uh, in uh, Islam as it's practiced in, in Indonesia. I've always been interested in each of the countries that I've been in. Uh, but I'm trying to think of ways to, con to connect with uh, Indonesian, uh, ordinary Indonesians. That for me is very important. I think Australia and Indonesia have very strong linkages uh, at the senior levels, both in business and in government. Uh, I'd like to see that expand as much as possible within the community and I think uh, visits to mosques, visits to universities, which I have to say are always great fun, uh, <laughs> visits, visits to universities are one of the ways of doing that. So it's about, uh, there's, there's building a rapport between business uh, leaders is one thing yes. and politicians is one thing but the, the public one, it, it's community outreach. Yes and I think the important element of that is that uh, there is a perception gap in uh, between Australia and Indonesia in terms of the way we understand each other, but I don't think that comes from a place of bad faith. Mm -hmm. I think that comes from a place of a lack of knowledge, and I, we, we need to use all the tools at our disposal to try and rectify that. Mosque and university visits, uh, events that involve uh, average members of the Indonesian community are one of those. Uh, the second is social media. We're putting a great deal of effort in my embassy into social media and we'll keep looking for ways to connect with ordinary Indonesians. There are a perception gap. Uh, would you say it's reflected to the same degree uh, back home? I think in Australia and Indonesia there's uh, an awareness of each other but I'm not sure there's great knowledge about the communities in each place. So when I go to mosques for instance I always find the most interesting conversations are about the Muslim community in Australia which is much bigger 500,000 than many Indonesians understand is a much more important part of Australian society than many Indonesians understand and we've had uh, Muslims in Australia since 1860 so a very long-standing uh, relationship with uh, uh, Muslim communities from around the world and of course there was very early contact between uh, Indonesians and Australians in a trading sense. Mm. 
So it, n not as foreign a, a country as people think? No, uh, we, we're in Ramadan here at, uh, in uh, Indonesia at the moment and I like talking to people about uh, Ramadan in Australia which in some, some cities is a very big deal. You see shops closed until 6pm to a book of Puasa and then open and then and a little like Indonesia there's quite a celebratory atmosphere uh, around it. Uh, we've been doing book of Puasa at my house mm -hmm. and I've been taken by two facts. The first is the number of Indonesians who uh, accept the invitation to come um, and the second is the interesting conversations we have there about uh, Ramadan practices both in Indonesia and in Australia. Great, well we've got to go to break again but when we come back we will be speaking more about the business world and relations between Australia and Indonesia there. Stay tuned.